What's going on everybody? I'm Dory Goodman, the time teller. So guys, ever since I started making videos about my Seiko SKX, people have been making various comments furious with me, seriously furious, that I threw that SKX on a leather strap. I mean, it's a dive watch, for God's sakes. How dare I put a dive watch on a leather strap? It's supposed to get wet. Seriously, I mean, people were acting like I stole their dog or something. They were so mad at me. All right, so hear me out, okay? I've heard you and I've since taken that leather strap, that terrible leather strap off my Seiko SKX and I've put the SKX on this olive green or olive drab, I should say, uh, Zulu strap. And it makes much more sense to me. You guys were right. I shouldn't have put that leather strap on this watch because that leather strap actually looks a whole lot better on my baby tuna. <laughs> it's 1029 AM. Let's get down to business. Ha! Yes, that's right. I sometimes put leather straps on dive watches. I wear my watch on my right hand and I mix black and brown. All these things people hate. I'm a bit of a rebel. So I know you guys are yelling at me right now asking yourself, why? Why would I ever put a dive watch on a leather strap? Well, uh, I guess the simplest answer is that uh, it's mine and I can do whatever the heck I want because I'm an adult. Also, uh, the watch totally can get wet still if need be. It's not like having a leather strap makes the watch any less waterproof. Sure, the leather may be compromised, but I don't really care about that. I'm not going to baby this watch or this strap. And if I'm in a situation where I know I'm going to go swimming, uh, I'm just gonna wear one of my many other waterproof watches like my Pantor Seahorse. If you missed the review of this watch, I'm gonna be leaving that review in the description below, so check it out. But listen guys, okay, here's the real point of this video. There's a bunch of like stupid rules about how you're supposed to configure your watches or how you're supposed to wear your watches or what you're supposed to do with your life. Listen guys, don't listen to any of those people, okay? Watch collecting, this whole hobby is supposed to bring happiness to you. So do whatever you want. The only person you should be listening to is yourself. Heck, you don't even need to listen to me, okay? If my opinions, if my perspective helps you out in a certain way, then that is awesome and that makes me so happy. But at the end of the day, you need to make yourself happy, wear the watches you want, wear them how you want, and uh, for me, that means sometimes throwing a leather strap on a dive watch. Also, really quick, now that it's here in front of me, can we just take a moment and talk about how severely underrated the Baby Tuna is? I mean, pretty much every day, someone will write to me asking me about the best dive watch for under $500, and it's gotta be the Baby Tuna. I don't know why, people are sleeping on the Seiko Baby Tuna. I've said this in a multitude of videos, this is the most comfortable watch I own. Like, out of any of my watches, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's very flat profile, you put it on your wrist and you forget it's there. And with this matte, kind of matte black finish with the gold accents, I think it looks amazing on this brown leather strap. I know a bunch of people don't like mixing black watches with brown leather, but uh, I'm a fan of it and I think it looks amazing. But guys, I've done a review on this watch by itself. I'll leave links to that review in my description below so you can check it out uh, in more detail. But yeah, just an amazing watch, severely underrated. But the point of this video, okay, do what you like, do what makes you happy. Watch collecting is supposed to make you happy. So if you wanna wear your watch on the wrong wrist, even though I'm wearing it on the right wrist, <laughs> do that. And if you wanna wear a dive watch on a leather strap, do that too. All right guys, well thank you so much for tuning in to this very rare Thursday video. I know I almost never upload on Thursdays. As you guys know, I like making shorter content on Wednesdays, but I couldn't upload yesterday, so uh, I moved yesterday's topic to today. Hope you don't mind. And I wanna thank you guys. Again, I'm still blown away. I can't believe we're past 27,000 subscribers. It is moving very, very quickly. Thank you, each and every one of you. I love you. And if this is your first time joining us here on the Time Teller channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by. And I wanna urge you to consider clicking that subscribe button it takes one second and it helps me out a ton and while you're at it you can go ahead and click that little bell icon so you do not miss an episode of the time teller there's just so much more awesome content on the way and you don't want to miss it i'm telling you guys please like comment and subscribe share this with other watch enthusiasts other people that you think would enjoy this i'm jory goodman the time teller and always remember i didn't invent time i just tell it